boy T Sales, we go way back. Movie time. Oh, what's going on, you two? Today, man, I really want to address some uh, stuff that's been said about me um, and really explain like why I stopped working with Skinbone. So, you know, I started working off with Skinbone shit. I was trying to branch off from, like, the music videos because, like, I don't know, it started getting a little saturated and, you know, like, a little dangerous, like, with the people, you know, like, you're working with. So, I just want to do something different, like, a little bit more different. Like, I'm like, it. I'm just going to try something else out. Um... I saw Skimbone shit, like we was like politicking about it. Cause I worked with Skimbone back in the days, if y'all like saw the thousand miles that's posted on my channel that got over 15 million views. So it's like, we've been working through the day. We know each other from the neighborhood. Um, he was needing another cameraman because he wanted to start like a TV show called Meanwhile in Chicago. So boom, you know, we politic. Um, like shit, like when I first started off working with him, I'm like shit, you know, like you could just throw me whatever. It was like, I wanted to get out of the, like the music shit. Cause it's like the money will start again slow. That I'm like, bro, you could just pay me whatever shit. Like, like, but that's how I came in. Like, also, I really want to help your content go, you know, bigger too. Cause I feel like I could bring that quality. So boom, um, like we decided to work on Meanwhile in Chicago, and then um, I start like like really coming out probably like once a week or so like that, working on like a Meanwhile in Chicago, and then um. Like previously, he had another cameraman, but I think, you know, some stuff happened. Um, I basically got hired as his cameraman. And then after that, I really started like working down there daily, down there. Because it was like to a point where, like, once we started dropping the Meanwhiles in Chicago, he started to uh, like see, like, that was like, uh, people started liking that. Like, uh, that's what they wanted to see. Like, long, like, you know, like, long content that started out and everything. So, uh, like we started really focusing on dropping Meanwhile like in Chicago, but mind you, I started doing it like probably like every week. But now it's getting to the point where we like shit, like man, like we're gonna turn it up a notch. I'm trying to bring some more money to my channel and everything, so I want to start working on the daily like shit, like you know, like doing vlogs and like shooting Meanwhile at the same time. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, shit, there ain't no problem. I'm like, because at the same time, like we'll be out anyway, we be recording. Like meanwhile, and like between scenes and stuff, I vlog. Big Gucci back with another vlog. Today we on the block with it. With meanwhile in Chicago today. I'm tired of y'all in my inbox and in my DM saying, when are you gonna drop the next one? When are you gonna drop this? No, do it today. So this month we're gonna wrap it up for y'all. We're gonna get it together for y'all. We're gonna do it like four more before the month over with. Uh, like just to get some extra footage and stuff like that. So we was doing that on a constantly for 30 days, 30 nights, like, ah, like, we was, like, shit, like, dropping, like, the vlogs the next day, or probably dropping meanwhile on Thursdays, or probably, it would start getting to the point we start dropping them, shit, two, three times a week, shit, because, you know, like, that was, like, the most money, so then, um, like, we get past that, um, I start to ask for, like, a raise and shit, like, man, ooh, ooh, like, the workload start getting crazy, and, it's like, shit, I'm getting paid salary, but it's just like, man, the time ain't adding up. Like, shit, I'm doing hella hours. I'm like, shit, I'm like, damn, for you can't give me a raise because he already mentioned to me, like, when I first started working, like, shit, for you can get this, you know, like, 5000 you know, every month if we going crazy type shit. So, me, I'm like, shit, I'm trying to get 5000 Skin bone, big Gucci, we need a raise. And I'm speaking with TCL soon. TCL say he need a raise. That's right. You know he be that's right. Put this in your blog, and everybody go to Skinball page, YouTube, and Facebook, and comment. Get him a raise. I'm trying to get five thousand, so I instantly turn my work up. I'm instantly going crazy. But then it's like when I used to ask for a raise, he'd be like, "Man, for you stressing me out." Like it should be like times where like uh, videos will go like a uh, yellow or something like that because. They, um, it's like I ain't really know too much of the community guidelines, but I started learning them. But, like, for cuss words, or like if you want to do something like shooting at somebody, or like it was all certain, like, like, or, like probably like cleavage, like it'd be so much stuff in like the community guidelines we had to go by. But it was like he was penalizing me for I like, want to go yellow or some shit like that. But, like, he'll try to penalize me for, like, man, for uh, this is why I'm not giving you a raise or some shit like that. I'm what? Like, that shit crazy. I'm like, bro, I be working my ass out. He, man, woo-woo. Like, shit, I'm going to give you a raise. What the bam. But 
I never got the raise. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. He broke up like he wanted to start him a reality show. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, shit. I'm like, that's raw as hell. Like, shit, you would be the first nigga out of the city, like, to, you know, like, really start uh, like a reality show from scratch and shit like that. And, you know, I was just a part, like, shit, like, when we first started, man, it's like he really, like, hired um, a production team from Atlanta. Like, he met him when he was doing, like, the Funny Marco, uh, like, interview, but, like, he met this guy who actually put the team together as far as, like, shooting the auditions and everything. So, like, they came to the city and everything. They worked out, like, gave him the prices to shoot the auditions. Like, no editor. So, like, that was the budget that they got. So, they shot the stuff. I don't know. Probably, I don't know. Probably 20000 I don't know. Like, I don't know the number, so I can't really say. So, it was a large amount, but... And then the editing alone was a whole different amount. Uh, they was trying to work out an agreement on, like, the editing basis. Like, because they, um... Like, the dude who they hired basically saying, like... Uh, like, my editor won't, like, shit. fifty to 80000 to edit the show. And like skim on like hell no I ain't finna pay that much Ooh, out the band I'm like shit I thought all this shit came together without the band so they having a conversation about that he and like so like the producer like shit I just edited it myself so boom he edited it um and sent like a copy to Skimbone but Skimbone didn't like the um uh, shit like the recap it was like a recap video but that was like a music video or some shit like that he like and Skimbone like hell no nah, bro I'm like this Weak as hell, like he like man. Like, my cameraman can make something better than this shit. Like he come over here to me and my homie KB Visuals. He show us like man. I know y'all can make something better than this. I'm like hell yeah. I'm like shit. We do music videos. I'm like bro. But it's just like at the same time, like once start looking at the footage, that like you know like how they was recording it. Like they as was recording bogus as hell. Like type shit. Like like some of their footage was so bogus. Like like folks had a listening party and shit. And it's like the, like they as, I feel like one of the guys in, in particular, like didn't know too much about camera shit. Cause he even see me like, oh yeah, t -Sim, you the man, you the man. Like, I'm gonna have to come back up here. You're gonna have to sit down and figure this shit out. I'm telling you. You got a lot of editors. <laughs> Sims out. <laughs> Cause it's a lot of, yeah. Yeah, t Sam, you ain't, you could. You could break this blog into two if you recorded a lot. Nah, for sure. Nah, he, that's, he ain't stopped shooting. Playing with that shit, I'm like, what, nigga, why you saying that for? Like, nigga, you the man, you the one getting paid for this shit. Like, shit, I ain't getting paid shit. Uh, this is before, I wasn't even getting paid. So he came to me like, uh, basically, I want you to edit it. So we like, all right, man, we are editing. So the guys uh, was, uh, the produ uh, production company from Atlanta was still supposed to uh, shoot the stuff, but we were just going to edit. So then it got to a point where uh, they found out that they wasn't editing it. And then uh, Skimbone, um, like that little party stuff, uh, they heard about the shooting. And then they backed out. They was like, man, like, are we scared to come to Chicago? Because it was a shooting that happened and they just don't feel a safe record. So they backed out on them. Uh, now I'm gonna need you to make a team, man. They backed out on me, man. Woo -woo. They ain't trying to come back to Chicago because of the shooting. I, I actually been told them that we could have been made a team. And then just seeing, like, you know, like how they work, like, bro, all that shit ain't hard, fool. Like, and they was, like, real live trying to tax this man. And I'm like, shit. I'm like, shit. I know a few videographers and shit. I see what type of cameras. I'm like, I'm like, um, is you gonna rent some cameras? He was like, nah, man, I want y'all to bring y'all equipment and all that shit. So we like, shit. I'm like, I gotta find people who got, you know, around the same equipment that we got. So boom, I get the team together. We shit, like start filming bad to the bone. Like the whole process was like, like so crazy. Like we was in that motherfucker recording for like 10 or 14 hours. Like, they, like, I'm talking about not going to sleep. Bro, like, we couldn't even take breaks to eat. Like, we not even eating in that, for real. Like, we not even eating. Like, they don't even got a budget for, like, the cameramans and shit. Like, we to the point, like, damn, like, when, like, motherfuckers don't eat, bro. We don't have time to even, like, charge batteries. Like, we in this filming for 10 or 14 hours straight. Straight. After every night, I got to stay up longer to like dump memory cards, um, charge batteries and shit. So that cut into my sleeping time, but 
Like, we got a whole schedule, like, like, or laid out for the first down to three, four days and shit. And then it's like, after that, it was like, bro, we was really freestyling. But it was like, bro, it was just, bro, the most stressful time of my life. Like, it was like motherfuckers was looking at us like we was just some, just some, like, nothing in that. It's like, bro, we just had to shoot everything. Like, it's a certain shit that we probably weren't even going to use that. We just recording, but like we not knowing, we just shit, we just filming, but it's just like it wasn't no structure, bro. It was to the point that we had to sit down and really have a meeting about this shit. See, see, you did say real, when you bro. came in, you was like my team weren't able to eat or uh, the food took too long or something like that, right? Yeah, something cause I was confused. Okay, okay. And then you told me like, right. oh, they could have been ate, but it's just like they didn't you. know that. Uh, they didn't no, know that you gotta real, notify bro. people to eat, cause even the girls ain't eat. So it's like they not cutting off those steps before the girl. Right. Right. So no, it ain't even that, bro. Cause you know how if it's that, bro, you know how I bag me some food. It ain't nothing about no food, bro. He basically saying I'm he, just saying it was just so much we to had to do no, tonight. Man. It's no downtime. That's the point. It's no downtime. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not arguing about no food. I ain't had this energy yesterday because they ain't go 14, 15 hours on top of. I worked all yesterday too. And I went to sleep for two hours because we went to sleep at six this morning. I woke up at eight this morning. I've been filming at nine. You know what I'm saying? Why was today and different? Been here every day. No, it ain't. It was different. But as yeah. days keep going past, we restless. Two hours a day. Yeah. I sleep for two, three hours a day. So I know what I signed up for. That's cool. But if I hear in my ear that they ain't doing what they supposed to be doing, they missing this, they missing that, bro, I feel unappreciated too. And I'm the type of nigga who don't say nothing and just work because I do what I do, bro. But when I start talking, bro, for real, that shit come out, bro. So, boom, uh, that was a like a little clip of uh, like us really having a meeting, trying to get stuff together. And it was like, it was to a point where people was in that talking to us crazy and shit, like, People that's behind Skimbone, I'm not gonna say it was him because he spoke up for us. There's a lot of roles that's not here, so I most definitely appreciate everybody that step into them roles that get shit done and you know you don't complain. So I never had a problem. I understand exactly what you're saying, KB. Like it most definitely needs a downtime, at least an hour, to do whatever that y'all need to do. So, so yeah, I, I do. I, I appreciate everybody by you know trusting in me to. Even sign a contract to say I'm gonna pay y'all instead of you know, oh wait well, I need my deposit you know yeah. I need this I need that you know y'all never complain type shit but it was just like certain shit like people would like tell us like oh like we not getting you know the footage the right you know like the right footage like how the f is you gonna I gotta watch them f bombs but how is you gonna tell like my team like what they not getting like my people recording. All day, like all day, 24-7. And it's just like people from the outside, like they'll probably come in for like 10 minutes or something. Like, like, like imagine we don't got no breaks. So people going to take their own breaks. Like, motherfucker. Like, you can't be mad at somebody else for taking a break to even go get something to eat. You know, like, motherfuckers hungry. We ain't eat, but we ain't eat breakfast. We ain't eat motherfucking lunch. Like, by the time we eat, it's probably, probably nighttime. Like, we getting the leftovers. Like, they don't even got a budget for us. But it's like we still managed to get the footage. Like after so many bumping heads and stuff like that. Like we like still got the footage out. And then it was like to a point, it ended early. Um, and basically we was getting paid like a day rate. And then at the end, it's like we left on a on day six, but we still came back the next day and did like a little studio session for like probably like three, four hours. The man gonna try to tell us, like, bro, I feel like I shouldn't have to pay all y'all for no four hours, y'all. Shit, like, y'all didn't even do nothing. Like, what? Like, nigga, like, we were just doing 10 or 14 hours them other days. And you talking about one day we come out and we, like, record a studio session that was supposed to be recorded, like, like the day before, but you canceled it. Like, that's on you. Like, motherfucker, we get paid for our seven days. But it's just, like, uh, like, it was a problem with that. Like, getting paid for our last day, like, it was just always, it was just making so many hard things, like, just making it hard. I'm like, damn, bro, like, you really are tripping, folks. Like, the amount we getting paid daily is down to half of the rate that you was finna pay to other people. So, it's like, bro, like, nigga, we still doing you a favor at the end of the day. Like, and but it's just like, people will look at it like, I, I not strictly business because they care about their shit. So, I'm like, okay, cool, that's cool. I now I come to editing, 
like we motherfuckers like try to decide on like what's the amount that we gonna be paid because me and KB both like working on the uh like on evidence. So boom, like we tell him a price. He like, man, I bet I'ma pay y'all that price, but I don't want no problems with my work. I want my shit done. I um I don't want y'all working with nobody. So he made a whole contract and put it in the contract saying that he don't want us working with nobody until we finish like bad to the bone but him like i can still work with him and do like youtube videos but i can't work with nobody else we like what is you crazy and then you put in the contract 500 dollars a day every day we late like bro who is you playing with gang like bro stop playing with me phone like we realized had to have a whole lawyer look over it and then saw like the contract was just like saving him and like putting us in so many f up predicaments. I took that F word out, but like messed up predicaments. But and then I started seeing like, bro, you want some weird stuff. Like, like, bro, you came to us like to really help you. Like, and I ain't had no problem with that, bro, because I really I messed with skin bone, but it's just sometimes I feel like people be in this if. And it's like Bro, like when people realize support you for it's a certain stuff that you don't do, bro. Like you come over here, you sit in my house, friendly, kicking it, ha 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 ha. But then when it comes to some business stuff, it's like you change your whole mood. Like you started doing some weird stuff. Like to the point that we gotta go get a lawyer to look at a contract to tell us that it's it's fool. And then the lawyer wanna like us uh, to hop on a call to really talk it out, try to make the changes to the contract so we can actually sign them. Like, they don't want to get on a call with our lawyer and stuff like that. He's saying I'm bogus for getting a lawyer. Like, what? Like, I was finna sign it in the beginning, but people told me, like, bro, you crazy. Like, like, bro, like, we got to look over this contract for real and see what's in it. Like, this is before I even read the contract. I'm like, bro, I know he ain't finna do no messed up stuff like that. But come down and find out that you put all this stuff in the contract. Like... And you came to us and asked us to do this for you to help you out because some other people backed out on you. But then it's like we got past that. Um, like they end up sending us out deposit. They ain't want to get on a call with the lawyer. So in his mindset, he like, man, I'm just going to pay y'all when y'all done. But whole time he thinking like, man, I'm just going to pay y'all whenever now since y'all ain't signed these contracts. So boom. Um, I finished bad to the bone now. Like, we down to the last episode. I must ask him, like, I must text him, like, um, I saw what day we getting the rest of our deposit for bad to the bone. I'm like, last episode almost done. He say, I don't know, so I'm still got to do the reunion. A uh, manager and a contractor that only said 10 episodes. And it's like, uh, we could have made the episode shorter. To add the reunions, but he wanted 10 episodes out of the, like, the whole season. So, it's like, you only paying us for 10 episodes. So, how, so now when I'm talking about my last deposit, you talking about we still got to do the reunion. That's a whole different, like, a different set of payment. Like, nigga, we got to work something out with that one. Like, this don't got nothing to do with what uh, we already established. So, he tried to say that, like, I say, how that work? I'm like, we were supposed to get paid when we finished. The reunion is separate from what we had already established with the 10 episodes. If the last episode, the 24th, it shouldn't be uh, no later, right? He, uh, uh, the reunion is a season and y'all supposed to be done on February 1st, no later than that. And it, and I ain't say nothing, but y'all gonna get paid regardless. So I'm gonna like, all right, now you just bringing up other stuff. Like, you bringing up excuse, 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 like... Like, what you trying to say? You not going to pay me now or something? So now I'm like, okay. I said, you just told me you were talking to a production company about the reunion. So what we doing? I'm like, we drop every episode on time. And I just want to know uh, when we expecting the rest of our deposit. I'm like, I know we going to get paid. For sure. For sure. I know that. Bro, stop playing with me, bro. Like, bro, I ain't even that type, bro. If you know me, you know I don't even get in front of no camera. I don't do none of that. But once you start playing with my money, bro, stop playing with me, bro. I said I'm talking to them about auditions. I don't, I got no money. That's why I'm telling you push these 20 versus 1s out. Uh, nobody signed no contract, so I can't give you a, a specific date. Uh, but I'll be <laughs> as soon as I can. I just fell
Pacific. <laughs> that shit funny as hell. But this nigga just told me he can't give me a date because I ain't signed a contract. Bro, who the f bro, stop playing with me, man. Like people realize I be playing with you, and it's like, like, bro, when you so nice to people, they feel like they can just get over you, bro, any type of way. Like, bro, I swear to God, I'm not going like that. I say I'm not shooting no more 20 versus 1 until I get paid. I'm finna give you both of these, uh, which was I would talk about 20 versus 1s, and the last bat to the bone this week. I say I expect my 1200 or uh, whenever you get paid this week. And I expect my deposit right after that. I say you been moving wrong. I'm like, we really have been working on this stuff for months. And now we close to being done. And you talking about you can't give us a date? I'm like, that's not how you do business at all. You know you owe somebody some money for a project. You know that's getting close to being done. Why you want to put that money to the side? But no, you made a bad decision yourself. And put you in a fucked up position where you are not able to pay us our money. But that don't got nothing to do with like... Uh, what we already established months ago. So, boom, I told him that's not how you uh, do business. I'm like, you should have put it to the side when it was that time. Uh, we ain't signed contracts and still started working on a project for you. I'm like, we really could have just said F all this. Uh, when we had that talk about handling the business and finishing the season. Because, you know, like we had a, like a conversation, bro, like in the beginning. Like, also, like, strictly business, I don't want to be friends, I don't want to be nothing. I just want my work out. He's like, all right, bet. He say, I'm going to pay y'all whatever. And then I tell him, like, I'm the only person in your corner that's been helping you. And, like, you moving wrong as hell. The man texts me back, okay. Okay, that's it? Cool. I say, uh, you're going to have to give me some on the 24th. That's all I know. I say, I don't got no money either, but I'm still working. I'm like, but that's all I got to say. But it's just like every time it comes to paying me, bro, even for 20 versus 1, it's like, bro, I got to chase some up out for my bread. Bro, you know I'm done with this project. Bro, just pay me, bro. Like, I don't be in this shit for no clout, no fame, no nothing. Bro, like, niggas don't tag me in none of the projects I do. Like, you don't even, you probably wouldn't even know that I be behind a lot of shit. It's because, like, motherfuckers don't promote me like that. Like, you are probably hear it through the vlogs because they say my name and stuff like that. But it's just like, bro, I don't ask you to promote me or nothing, bro. All I ask is for you to pay me. I'm going to give your workout how you want it. Just pay me. So basically, he tell me, like, on a, like when he get paid from his YouTube, like, he going to pay me my deposit and everything. Like, I thought I told him I ain't going to do no more of the 20 versus 1 until I get paid. Uh, mind you, like, uh, we done with all the episodes for Bad to the Bone. Like, everything was put on the app. Shit, like we just, shit, at this point we waiting on our check. So, boom, the YouTube check come. I asked him, like, shit, like, when should I expect my Zell? He sent me a screenshot of, like, his money situation. I guess his account was on hold. So, I'm looking like, oh, my God, that's another excuse for my bread. So, I'm like, all right. I ain't even say nothing about it. I say any update the next day. He said, hell no, nah, it should be unfroze today, though. I ain't even say nothing about it. I text a little bit later, like, I bet. I'm like, so can you at least pay me for my 20 versus 1 that I did? Because, man, y'all, like, as I'm working on Bad to the Bone, I'm still doing YouTube content, like, 20 versus 1. Because, like, when I took a break from, like, uh, or like the YouTube, I started working on Bad to the Bone. So nobody was, like, he didn't have another cameraman to come, you know, still do YouTube content because he was so busy with Bad to the Bone. You know, I asked for the bread for my 20 versus 1. Whoa, whoa. Like, he said it. I say I appreciate it. He didn't say nothing. It wasn't no problem. So now, um, he basically said he gonna pay me, like, when he get to, like, his bad to the bone check. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, when that is? He said April 4th. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm gonna just hit you up. So boom, he come. In this process, he probably already came and got his cameras and stuff. Because, um, he was working on the Diddy stuff. And then he came to my house to edit it because, shit, we still had to bump up computers up. And it's like, shit, like, we had two computers, two Mac Studios. It was 164 gigabytes. I think it was, like, an M2, and it was one, like, an M1. Well, I don't know how many gigabytes, like, 32. But anyways, like, uh, KB was working on one, and I was working on one. Uh, like, basically working on Bad to the Bone. So, uh, like, he hit me up on the 4th. I mean, like, because I text him on the 4th. I said, last time we talked about the deposit from Bad to the Bone, you told me you got us on the 4th. 
He ain't even respond, bro. This is at 12.28 p.m. And then I'm on like, you know, social media, nigga making posts, gang. We talk about somebody who be on this phone 24-7. And you going to tell me that you ain't see, like me text you about some money. Knowing you got paid. Motherfuckers already in traffic getting they had did all type of shit. But motherfuckers ain't had no time to uh, look at their phone. You motherfuckers, you texting motherfuckers, oh, I'm finna slide, but you don't see my message. So, boom, I text him again at 517, like, what's up, bro? You playing with my money now? I say, bro, I got bills to pay. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna keep bugging you about my money, G. I ain't say G, but I say money. I'm just talking like that. I say, bro, you try to say 500 every day on Bad to the Bone, and now we done. I'm like, you late with our money. I'm like, I ain't been working, and all the money was counted for, for bills. And you messing up what I got going on. But I ain't trying to hit no excuses. Because when it came to bad to the bone, bro, we couldn't have no excuses. Bro, we had to get that man his work when he wanted. He wanted to change, we had to do that. He wanted snippets, we had to do that. But that wasn't even the contract. But I still was, like, making him snippets. Uh, but we couldn't have no excuses when it came to bad to the bone. So I want the same with my money. And then he tried to call me. See, me, I'm a documented person, bro. I think, I think everything ahead. It's like, bro, you be trying to, like, like people will try to call you or try to say something. And then, like, once to, it's to the point that, like, they probably forgot or they probably ain't want to go pay you. But, shit, it's like, bro, no, I want you to text me and shit so I can see uh, myself. So, he called me and I ain't, I did not answer the phone. I said, what's up? I ain't trying to talk. You told me the fourth. What we doing? He said, oh, okay. Bro, you playing with a motherfucking money, bro. I said, so you ain't paying me, right? He said, I'm not finna text you, I just called you, grow up. I called him back on FaceTime, because at this point, I'm on, I'm chopping up with KB. Like, bro, this nigga playing with motherfuckers' money. I put him on three-way. He, woo, woo, man, you talking to me crazy. Why the bam? I'm broke. I just want my money, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want to skate with you. I don't want to eat with you. I don't want to do nothing, bro. I just want my bread. Just hit me out, man. Bounce. I don't want to see you, talk to you, kick it with you, skate with you, nothing, man. And it's just like, bro, you can't be mad for a motherfucker, bro. You put me through so much shit. And it's like, bro, I look past all this shit, like, trying to see the best in the motherfucker. Like, hey, I'm trying to help you get to this goal. Like, shit, I know what I can bring to the table. And this experience is, like, it's on me type shit. So, I deleted all that shit out bad to the bone. The motherfucker. And the motherfucking app, I, I took all that shit down. You got me fucked up. You talking about you not gonna pay me, and you think motherfuckers finna be watching the shit that I did? Bro, I'm talking about real life slavery hours, gang, working with this man. So it's like, bro, it's just a breath. It's like a fresh, uh, like fresh air, gang. Like, I realized I was going, bro, going through so much shit. Like, working with this man, bro. And it's like, he, a, bro. Bro, I told this man, send us I have today and I'll start back uploading episodes. I'm like, how you expect my work to be showed and I haven't got paid? I say, I just want my money for the work I did. Man say, the man say, nah, that shit over with. He told me, you deleted that shit I already paid for uh, every single 20 verses and you got half your money and you deleted everything for keep it that way. Shit, I don't know. Comment below if I'm wrong, but if a motherfucker owe you some money, like, bro, like, what you think it is? Like, and you tell a motherfucker you're not going to pay them? Like, bro, you got me fucked up, bro. Ain't nobody watching bad to the bone. The fuck till I get my money. So then, so then now he blew. Now he mad as hell, bro. He done a punch in the wall. He, uh, like, or hit on my homie, like, shit. Or, like, hit up KB Visual. He, like, bro, I'm going to still pay you your 5000 but uh, T. Sims, his ass ain't getting shit from me. Um, bro, that's crazy as hell. He, but, though, he tried to bargain, like, the computer back. Like, uh, you got to give me my computer, uh, both of my computers type shit for you to get your $5,000 back. Bro, uh, my homie let him know, like, bro. I can't take no computer from T-Sims. All I can do is give you uh, the computer that I was working on and you give me the five bands. And then, I'm a homie telling like shit, but if you give me the five bands, I'm going to spin it down in the middle and still give it to my homie. The man going to tell my homie like, oh, well, then I ain't giving you five bands. Then I'm just going to give you 2500 What? 
You crazy as hell. He say, bro, uh, they had their conversation about that. He end up like basically uh, like, I bet I give you $5,000 to just bring my computer. Because like folks have to tell his ass like, bro, you can't dictate what I'm going to do with my money. You know, like, but my bread, nigga. Like, nigga, shit, I did the work. The work was did. So, boom, so my homie, like, he link up with him. And, like, shit, swap computers with him and shit. Like, for his brand and shit. And got his money back. But then the man was like, uh, t Sam still got my computer. Um, he stole my $5,000 computer. But the man's going to say it was $10,000. Niggas got my equipment. They going to give me my equipment back. Niggas got ten thousand dollar computers. They they like it's just like I give people so much, and then like soon as it come to money, they forget everything I do for them. Like come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'll put the details right here, bro. That motherfucker computer not no ten thousand dollars, bro. I ain't take no ten thousand dollars worth of equipment from you, bro. You owe me five thousand dollars, bro. That computer probably less than five thousand dollars. All I wanted was my motherfucker. Five thousand dollars, bro. You will be crazy if you think I'm gonna give you a computer back that's worth five thousand dollars and you owe me five thousand dollars. Shit, that's an even exchange. But I don't want your computer. I just want my five thousand dollars, gang. Like you gonna pay my homie and not pay me? I don't get no because uh, I took some shit down, bro. You play with me too many times, gang. And bro, I swear to God, if y'all know me, bro, I don't do this. This is not me, bro. Like. I feel like damn bad even exposing the motherfucker, but it's just like, it ain't really exposing, it's just bringing awareness to certain shit, bro. Like, niggas be trying to finesse, con like, shit, content creators, like, bro, people who realize be doing a lot for people, bro, people be treating they ass bogus. And I can call so many people, and I just let them, you know, tell them, like, who I am, because it's just like, bro, I just feel like, I can't even show it. Like, the shit that I did, I did so much shit, bro. Like, y'all wouldn't even understand, bro. Like, sleepless nights. It was to a point the man say I couldn't even have no girlfriend, bro. The man say I couldn't have no girlfriend, bro. A girlfriend, gang. Like, like, bro, what nigga would say that? Like, nah, bro, man. Man, I, he said, man, I need you focused, man. I need you shit going straight home to edit, man. Nah, you can't have no girlfriend. Like, bro, yo ass, I ain't even gonna say that word, but yo ass weird. That's some weird ass shit. And the audacity, like, the only reason why I'm saying all, any of this is because you made a post about me saying I'm broke as hell. I said, bitch ass niggas deleted the whole season. So for the people that keep DMing me talking about it, and just a broke ass ass nigga that 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 was mad over some bread deleted my shit that i paid for what yo ass stay out of the car bro yo ass stay in your manager airbnb bro yo ass is broke as hell the f nigga if it weren't for me bro yo ass went high half of the shit that you already got bro. for real for real and it's like now i'm finna talk like that because motherfucker got you up when they play with you on the internet game like hey you did so much for a month bro you got me fucked up bro yo ass broke as hell yo ass broke yo ass moved out your crib yo ass stay in a motherfucking airbnb that the motherfucking manager uh your manager got yo ass stay in the bnb a bnb uh tell that man show his crib and yo ass still owe me five thousand dollars boy Yo ass and get this computer back when you give me that five thousand dollars. Motherfucker just did a lot of broke, broke, dirty, bum ass shit. I ain't never did. I ain't never did nobody bogus. I ain't never played with nobody bread. I ain't never played with nobody money. You wanna play with me? Come on, bro. Stop it. Come call me, bro. Come on, bro. I'm broke because you not paying me. You owe me five thousand dollars. Yes, I will be broke if you you own a motherfucker. You owe me that money. Pay me. Motherfuckers ain't had no camera. Nobody had no camera. No, no, none of my old cameramans had no camera. I was, they, everybody was using my shit. And then he gonna like make a post talking about, um, I was using his camera. I never had a camera. He's, he said out his mouth that none of his cameramans never had a camera. Bro, if you know me, gang, I was shooting videos way before I was working with you. Shooting hella music videos, bro. 
I got a camera, bro. Like, stop playing with me, bro. Like, people will just say anything, bro. Like, you know that's a lie. Anybody, bro, if you know me, bro, you know I always had a camera. That's what I'm known for, bro. I shoot music videos. You can go down my page uh, right now, nigga. Before two, three years ago, I was still shooting music videos. Like, seven years ago, gang. Like, bro, stop playing with me, bro. Like, who you, like, come on. And then broke is crazy, bro. That what really got me. The broke, folks. And it's like, you can't, I ain't gonna, I ain't never been the type to talk down to nobody, but, bro, you don't got it, bro. And it's okay, niggas be living a fake, like, a fake lifestyle. They want to be, you know, like, live this, this rich lifestyle, but they can't afford that shit, gang. Like, like, for real, like, like, niggas want to spend all their money on clothes and all that shit, bro. And, like, bro, your ass is bad with investments, bro. And it's like, bro, you can't blame nobody for your mistakes. If you owe somebody some money, bro, pay them their money. I just want to address certain stuff because, it's like, people hit me up, like, damn, you talking, like, you talking about you, bro? Like, I know you ain't talking about you because you got a count. Like, like, bro, you got a count. I'm about to call me right now, like, bro, who you talking about? And it's like, now it's like, you... You went to the internet first. I, bro, this is the only thing that I said about it. And I'm going to put a screenshot of something else that I said. That I said, I'm done working with Skinbone. Um, I'm not going to be doing the 20 versus 1. Um, you know, I wish everybody the best on their new journey. And that's what I said. And then after that, he came with a couple videos and stuff like that. Talking negative about me. And which I never talked negative about Skinbone prior to this. This the only video that I ever did because it's like you playing with my character now. And it's like now I gotta let you know what's what the f going on, bro. Like, bro, I'm not no goofy, bro. Like, that shit over with. You not finna play with me. Nigga, I'm gonna play with you. Nigga, everybody comment and tell that man, give me my $5,000. The f You owe me $5,000, bro. 5000 nigga. My $5,000. This ain't no little money, bro. This $5,000, bro. Where I'm from, uh, niggas don't make it out. Shit, for $5,000, bro, what the f***? Ah, right, bro, motherfuckers do some crazy shit over $100. $5,000 ain't no money to pay with. You can't be mad if somebody else don't want to work with you no more. Like, I, I truly just don't want to work with folks no more. Like, I just want to get my bread so I can go, bro. Like... I'm known for just getting my work out and just shit, getting paid, bro. Like, I ain't with all this internet stuff. Like, I hate I even have to come to the internet, but I only have to speak on the stuff. That, you know, like, people spoke about me, calling me broke, saying I did this, but I feel like you should tell people what actually happened, bro. And if there's any lies in what I said, respond. Like, if you feel like I'm wrong, comment below. If you feel like I'm right, comment below. But it's just like, all that shit be foul. You can't do that. To people who real life wanted the best out of you, like, like real life giving you ideas, like, bro, that Wiz Khalifa video, I the one told you to hit him up, on bro, and that same night he hit you back, or the next day, and said, yeah, I'll do it for the free, for the free, cause Wiz a good nigga, folks, and you'll turn around and go pay, fucking Tashiki fifteen thousand to do a twenty versus one, like, come on, bro. Like, you make bad decisions, bro. People who manage you or behind you, you make bad decisions. That's on you, bro. You can't fault nobody for that. And yeah, I probably apologize for taking this shit down. I could have handled this shit differently. But at the same time, how I'm coming, like, bro, you playing with me now. You playing with me, bro. You have been playing with me for so many times, bro. Like, come on, bro. I just got to go down with you. But, man, I appreciate y'all for even, bro, even sitting down, even, you know, like, listen to what I'm saying, bro. But... I just really want to bring awareness to certain things. Shit, I ain't heard about shit. I'm finna get back to work. Y'all finna be seeing a lot of content on this YouTube channel. Uh, like different things, films, shit, like YouTube videos. I'm finna be doing a lot. If y'all want to be a part, y'all can hit me up at t Sims Films on Instagram, shit, or YouTube. But I'm really finna turn up. I ain't really show my creativity how I really wanted to because it's like, you know, like working with other people is like that's uh, that's day vision and stuff like that and they be having a certain thinking but a lot of stuff got to be planned out and me i'm a planner so right now i'm in the process of planning a lot of content to be dropping real soon for y'all and it's just like i'm so excited to show y'all like my creativity because it's like i don't know i just feel like everything that i did for other people that was for them like even like working with artists and stuff like that but 
I want to work on something that I can say that's mine and really show you like who behind them lenses for real like do your research about who behind them lenses but that's all I want to say I appreciate it, everybody I'm out Boy, T. Sims, we go way back. Movie time.